All right. So I'm on dinner break um, from my drawing class. And I felt like making this video for a few reasons. One being that I really want to start making videos and like telling the people in my live life <laughs> what I've been up to, but I feel like I can't do that unless I address something first. So that's what I'm doing in this video. So uh, first important thing to address, um, I haven't really made a video since like a like a formal talking video since like like before junior year started I think which is like not a big deal because who fucking cares but um, now that I am ugh, drop some lettuce now that I'm in college I feel like I'm gonna start doing things that matter. So I'm just gonna talk about why this video is titled the way it is. I think I started struggling with my body and my body like, and thinking it was wrong and ugly around the age of like, I think 12 or 13. It's hard to put an exact number on it. Since then, a lot of things have changed because I'm more aware of what's wrong with me and like, what's wrong with me. Um, what problems I have with myself and I've overcome a lot of things but a little other things uh, have gotten worse. For example, when I was like 14 years old, I dabbled in bulimia. When I stopped being bulimic, I started to actually like go through the phases of puberty that do change your body. And I didn't understand that I was literally growing into the body that I was supposed to have. I thought that I was supposed to have hips immediately at the age of 14. I thought I was supposed to have a thigh gap, which was like that big thing in like 2014. And that was just such a weird fad, like a thing that people just wanted. And it, body types are becoming trendy, which is really strange to me, but I'm looking forward to the day that people are into rectangular bods. I've always had a relationship with food that was not healthy. I remember from the age of eight years old, constantly eating all the time, closet eating. Like I would go through boxes of like fruit roll-ups. I hid the boxes of fruit roll-ups from my parents because I knew that they would tell me how unhealthy I was being. So that, became an ingrained habit in my brain for a really long time and I still struggle with binging a lot. I have this kind of body dysmorphia where it, when I look in the mirror I see this like either this lard or this amazingly attractive person and this will be in the exact same day so I don't know what image of myself to trust. I will look back at pictures of myself from like freshman, sophomore, and junior year where I was like 20 pounds lighter, extremely unhappy. You can't even tell from the pictures of myself. I looked like I was confident, I acted like I was confident, but I was not. I was so unhappy and I thought I needed to get smaller even though I had this amazing body. And that just makes me so sad that I didn't appreciate what I had. And I can imagine looking back now and not appreciating what I have now. So that's the biggest thing that I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to accept my body and be content with what it is, even though I am constantly trying to change it. So I guess what the moral of what I'm trying to say is that when you, when I create videos where I talk about my everyday, what I've been eating, what I've been doing, exercising, everything like that, I don't want anyone to look at that as something to idolize because I have so many inner problems with what I'm doing and like why I'm doing the things I'm doing and I'm not an expert. I don't know how to do certain things. I've been restraining myself heavily from 
picking up dieting pills from the Rite Aid next door. I, all I want is to change myself, but I don't want to want to change myself. I'm still in a process because I'm so young. I'm only 18 years old and I'm just trying to figure out how to love myself and how to accept change of both like my body, my state of mind, my work, because things are very hard. When you get to college, it's hard to find time to eat healthy and exercise and have the money to do both those things. And it's just, it's a lot of work. Fuck, I bit my tongue. Ow. I don't know why I shook my hand when I did that. <laughs> I'm eating a salad right now. Yesterday I had like a panini and ice cream and shit like that. Like it's so hard not to go from this like mindset that I can eat foods that feel good, especially at this age where it's not going to affect me as negatively as it will when I'm like 10 years older from now. And it's hard because I love food. I love food so much, but I just hate how food makes me feel like 10 minutes after I've eaten it. And I'm trying to improve my relationship with food. I know this was a really boring video. But I really, really just felt the need to say some stuff. Like I was thinking about it all during class, which I still need to get back to in like 15 minutes. So, I'll finish the salad. Go to class, edit this video. My eyes twitching. Do homework for tomorrow. Go to bed around 2 a.m. Wake up at 8. All right, good talk. Thank you, everyone. So awkward.